All right, so castle. Y'all saw the one from earlier in the intro where you break out of here. Of course, realistically, you're gonna have to check here and make sure nothing's going on. You break here, walk right along the edge, and then you can post up here, see if anybody's coming there. Alternatively, if you're on the offensive side and you find your way here, you can check the L wall push from this side. So that's a pretty cool spot to have in mind in terms of everything be bomb related. Another really important one, especially from the offensive side, is to kind of post up here and you'll shoot through these walls so that you have a line of sight up to their side top you can do the same thing from this side from here now if anybody is up in that room and decides to peek towards bomb you'll have an angle on them there lots of ar players will sit up here and hold this ang so that if anybody pushes down the l wall where their team is trying to plant or something like that they'll be able to have the line of sight people on the defensive side will initially kind of post up here and they'll break these walls before these ones are busted at all so they can hold the angle onto bomb or just have uh, have kind of a line of sight for the offensive team that's pushing top L. And then if they get info that somebody's on bomb, all they have to do is slide out here, check this first, of course, and then they'll have eyes on the B bomb. People as well that play more aggro will just jump right out of here and then have a spot on the B bomb side itself to watch the cross to L wall. They'll also have the right side for information on this side of the map. Kind of a safer cross into the B bomb site from down low is on the right side. So. I forgot, I forgot I was on hardcore. The safer cross that people will do for the B bomb site is have their teammates shoot out this wall right here or throw a gammon, preferably from further away than I just did. And then you can jump in the site like this and then you're, uh, and then you're in that same corner from earlier without having to go all the way up the ladder. All of these right here, breakable, breakable. Post up here with an AR with a sniper. You have that angle right there. If you go further left or if your teammates have the door open, you also have some information for the further back side of B bomb. This is a nasty heady. A lot of people aren't looking for it. You also technically have eyes on the bomb site to some extent. If you break down here, you have a little bit of the bomb. And if they're trying to play on the bat side, you can get them from there. Also, if you break that first part, you can climb up here. And then now you're on the outer part of the wall. So if you want to kind of play like this, and watch people pushing in from a bit of a safer angle or an off angle, you're here. Same thing with this side right here. So people are gonna be, when they push from L wall, they're gonna be looking obviously in that deep left corner, maybe somebody in the close right, they're not gonna be expecting somebody in the outer part of the window. Technically, you can also have a bomb site from here, although this tree kind of obstructs your vision. A two strat that I've been thinking of is having somebody up here to watch the front and then somebody down low or kind of on this part of the map to watch the actual B bomb site itself. And then A bomb checks just come from whoever's up here, probably with an AR or something, looking all the way down towards the site. If you kind of shoot out right here, or these two lower ones, you have a line of sight into top pool from there. People will post up with an AR with a sniper or something from that angle to watch the push into B. Now from the offensive side, let's say you're on offense. People post up here all the time. Change the angle a little bit, you know? Break these out, gives you a bit of a different angle into the B-bomb site, as well as here, all the way to that front side, without being as vulnerable to that spot that I broke earlier. This one right here is great as well. For challenging this, if you're an SMG player and you find somebody on the stairs that you don't want to challenge, if you still want to take a peek at the B-bomb site itself, but you don't want to be as vulnerable as you are by slide canceling in or slow peeking from here, this will give you a little bit of a head glitch advantage for the people that might be hanging out in this area when they're playing defense. Also, just these doors, and let me actually back up this time. These doors in general are great for breaking when you're on the defensive side because offensive team is less hidden in the B-bomb site. You'll be able to see them from more and more places with those doors gone. So if you're on defense, first and foremost, you gotta open up the site so that you can see a little more. So on bow, obviously the first one that I showed you, the one that I led with in the very beginning of this video. You punch here, that gives you a great line of sight towards the deep part of the trenches or the swamp or whatever you may call it. Most people when they're hitting this site from the offensive side, they're mainly going to be looking here on this head glitch right here, as well as kind of everything else throughout the swamp, maybe top castle. Nobody's initially going to be hard aiming this back side of the fence right here, so it'll give you a great advantage against the people that are pushing down this lane. Other main point that I know um, is that wall right there. There's a decent rush for the offensive side that involves throwing a gammon bomb up there. Um, and then you jump up onto this fence 
And then once you make it across, you're in top mannequin. You got a decent flank right here. A lot of people will sit up here and watch the top. It is great for killing that person. If you don't see anything, you can always push straight up behind here and then flank anybody that's at A. So another, another great spot. Of course, everything at A is gonna be great to break um, simply because from here, if you plant the bomb, you can check it from, uh, from top barn up there. And if you break everything in here, if you really want to, you can check the bomb from all the way out here if you stretch it far enough. Now, on Berlin, there are a couple of different ones. Um, a lot of them based out of this fire room right here. The one from earlier was where you punch here. If there's anybody kind of on this side of the map right here, you also get a little bit of a peek into the A bomb site. You'll catch them there. If you want to jump out a little bit further, you can check this deep corner on the other side of that bush there that a lot of people like to sit in. Kind of a hard angle, but it, you'll at least have the call out for your team if they're playing in that area of the map. Now, if we move over to this side, if you break in here, you have a line of sight onto B. If you have a teammate where if you happen to plant B kind of stretched out for right here or something like that, if you skip back over to fire, you will have a line of sight into the bomb room from up here, like so. Now, if you kind of jump out into the window itself, you have a further line of sight all the way across B. You can check if people are on these head glitches back here or just in general trying to work the B area. This is probably more of a defensive strat because you're really making yourself vulnerable, whereas less of a uh, like a, a cheeky plant spot or something like that where you'd be hiding up here. Now from the offensive spawn, if you're running this way, um, preferably you want a teammate to kind of watch the A cross, and if you guys don't know, you can watch it from up there. You can see all the way over to that A cross right there, so people will sit up here. The reason that um, we want a teammate to do that in this scenario is because this area that we're looking for in terms of this door is kind of vulnerable to every everything A related. However, it's a great line of sight for anybody on the other team trying to cross B. They can technically sneak by if they go out or docks, but for the people that are playing on the tank or just in general trying to rush up to the other side of the B area, this is a great line of sight. Another one from the offensive side, um, people like to push into A kind of through this door right here. People like to just come in here, punch this door out of the way or this window out of the way, and then you'll have a better initial line of sight, at least one that the people that are sitting there aren't going to be as ready for. Um, whereas if you kind of hit through this door, that's obviously the one they're going to be looking at. Another important one for the B bomb site that often goes overlooked is these two right here. After you plant the bomb, let's say you're on the offensive side and you want to back up towards your spawn, you want to make sure that these doors don't don't um, remain intact because the other team can close those and then it'll be kind of harder to open it all the way as they're defusing the bomb. After you plant B, first thing you want to do when you run away is turn around, cook a nade or something like that to blow up both doors so that it's fully exposed. That way when you go all the way back here and you want to check the B bomb site from back here, you can do so easily. Same thing with further back in the spawn. If that's how you want to play, you can do just that. Just want to make sure that those doors are all the way open. We lay down kind of on this side and punch out the barrier like so. When you're here, let me open this door so that we can actually see what the angle is used for. When you are here on this side, you can lay all the way down and kind of position yourself so you have the bomb as a barrier as well. You'll be able to peek at those stairs like so. So if anybody tries to come down from this hallway or up from these stairs, you'll have an angle on them. You know, they're gonna mainly be looking at the heady. I mean, you can barely even see that angle from all the way back there, but that's where you'd be shooting from. Unfortunately, not a crazy amount on Demyansk, not that I know yet. This is a pretty cool one here on the A bomb site. It's kind of a hard one to break, but once you get it, you have an eye into a bomb. So if you plant it there and kind of want to hang out around this area, maybe have a teammate watching your back or maybe watch your own back or something like that, you can get an easy peek onto the bomb. So you have to make sure you break the left side of this wall, but if you come back here and wanna hide in this area right here, you can get a check. You can similarly jump up onto this head glitch, which is pretty nasty, but leaves you more vulnerable to that side of the map, so I prefer just a slow peek out here. Another important one from the offensive side, you're going to make sure to break these windows to some extent, because people will sit behind them in corners like this one right here and watch the front. So if this window is open, they'll be vulnerable to that. Similarly over here, you can't get in this corner very deep. So they'll be poking out a little bit. So if you break this, you'll be able to have a line of sight on these guys camping in here before you actually go into the site itself. 
Now for Tuscan, there is truthfully only one good spot that I know for breaking. You guys know it too. It's literally just right here for the A-bomb strat. It is incredibly day one, so everybody will see this coming. However, this is truly the only one that I know for uh, that I know for Tuscan, at least the one that's reliable. So anything here, whether it's breaking out for a more obvious head glitch or trying to play a little more subtle, or you know just opening the the window and seeing the bomb wherever you guys are planning it for, that'll be the one to use for this side. But truthfully, this is the only one I know. As always, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you learned something, let me know down below. If I missed a spot in any of the competitive search and destroy maps, let me know. And if you guys want strats like this for different maps or pub maps or something like that, leave a comment down below. Also, if you enjoyed, double check down below to make sure you're subscribed, and I'll catch you guys next time at lunchtime.